What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a GMod's World podcast, and today we're going to be discussing the first round series with the Pacers and the Cavaliers. Now, I know you guys are reading the title, and you're like, come on, bro. LeBron James is going to lose in the first round. He's never done that. He's also, I don't think he's ever lost the first game of a first round series. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going based on the history of LeBron. LeBron has a lot of um, specific stats that only he will probably be able to keep by himself. And I think that that was one of them. I don't think he's ever lost the, the first game of a first round. I, I don't know. Listen, that's not even the point, though. The, the bottom line is this pace is Oladipo and these boys. They're not playing any games. Now, let's go ahead and dissect some of the things that actually happened in the Sunday game uh, in the first round against the Pacers. Let me first say this. This Pacers team is much better without Paul George. Now, regardless of how well the OKC Thunder played yesterday with Paul George, it just showed that they they he was I don't know what happened. Like the chemistry just seems a lot better. Um I don't know if you guys agree with me with it, but it just looks like they they were an underrated team all year because I did not envision what happened. And even when they fought back from 23 down, you still knew they were going to lose. It it was that kind of situation where they don't play defense, right? Like, we all know they don't play defense, and everybody gets mad at Skip Bayless about, you know, defensive win shares and all that stuff. And I don't really care about that whole defensive win share stuff. Um, but the situation is this. There were times during this game where it looked like none of the Cavaliers wanted to get the rebound. I don't – like, when, when I was looking at it, I don't know if maybe I just wasn't seeing the same thing that other people were seeing, but it didn't look like the Cavs were ready to play in the first game. I don't know what it is, bro. And then Ty Lue is running around looking like – I don't know – if he's going to be back. I really just don't think he's going to be back based on the response that he gave one of the guys, uh, one of the uh, reporters were asking him, like, how, how was it to coach the Cavaliers? And his response to that uh, that question, you know, he's just like, he's pretty much started laughing and smiling. Like, he's, pro- he's probably going to be gone. Now, I know that people have the whole situation where it's like, you know, Kyrie Irving said he was tired of the drama and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a lot to deal with when you play alongside LeBron James. But, I don't think that there's ever been a great player that didn't come with some type of situation where somebody didn't like what they were doing. Phil Jackson released the book later, just straight up blasting Kobe. You know what I'm saying? So great players are going to have situations where everybody doesn't agree with, you know, with what go, what goes on with them and how they handle themselves. Now, throughout this game, I, I don't like Lance Stevenson. He fouled LeBron James, uh, you know, a couple of times where, you know, LeBron, I think he kind of just went a little hard with it. One time, though, when he got hit in the head and they, they gave him a technical and then his free throws instead of just giving him the flagrant one, that one was kind of wild because based on the rule, he got hit in the head, you know, whatever. But the other, the earlier uh, foul, LeBron James is trying to set it up so Lance Stevenson uh, could just be removed from the game, bro. He doesn't want this guy in the playoffs. Um, so pretty much every time he fouled him, it was just like a whole situation where it's like, yo, he's really trying to put the refs on notice with it. And it was hilarious for the first one because it was really nothing there. But the second one, based on the rule... Uh, Lance Stevens should uh, should have been given a flagrant one. Just saying that. But I think that that might be the plan is to try to get Lance Stevenson out of the game or, you know, get him some technicals, get him thrown out the game. So all his fouls were like more, a little bit more uh, enhanced with LeBron James' reaction to it. And Lance Stevenson knows right now he's with a much better team. And for some reason, I don't know if they got what kind of water they have, what, what's going on, but he plays much better with Indiana than any other team. Lance Stevenson just... You know, I know people have said it, but I really, he was a completely different animal. That ridiculous dunk where he just went up, you know, went up on the dude. LeBron was trailing. It was wild. But overall, with the way that the game looks, do I think the Cavaliers are going to lose this series? My heart is saying no. And I don't think that, because it'll be, if he loses this first round series, it's it's going to be devastating to his legacy. Okay? His team is trash, though. Like, even with the trades and all the stuff that, that went on, like, who who's that idiot? I forgot I forgot the guy, Green, Jeff Green. That, that dude is a bum. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't know exactly what's going on with Tristan Thompson. He has, like, six girlfriends or whatever he's doing, maybe more. They, they got to figure out a way to, to get this guy back. Like, I don't know. It just seems like people don't realize it, it's a team game. And, you know, Kevin Love kind of came on later. He hit some, you know, some some threes, whatever like that. But dudes were not knocking down shots. And LeBron James still was able to get a triple-double. That's not easy to do. But I will tell you this, though. If the Cavs are able to somehow, they, they have to play defense. They, they have to somehow figure out a way to play defense. Or they have to shoot the Cavaliers out of the stadium. They got to just hit every three from anywhere. There, there's no in-between to what's going on right now. Because if you look at the pace of the game, 
The Pacers are going to move. The, they're not playing half-court basketball. The Pacers are moving the ball down the court and shooting threes right in dudes' faces and dunking on them viciously. This is really, really wild. And a part of me wants to say that if Dwayne Wade was never traded back to Miami, they would have probably been a better team right now. But I don't know. I, I really Look, I don't know exactly what the situation is, but the Cavaliers look really, really bad. And it could be... You know, simply because, you know, it's the first game. Dudes have to get, you know, the, these, these other role players that just came in that are actually starters now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you people people really believe that getting rid of Isaiah Thomas and the whole trade and bringing in all these role players, Jeff Green, the other guy. I, I, look, I don't care. The bottom line about this whole situation is people have to realize that these are not like all-star players. And why was the other, why was it Larry Nance Jr. starting? I, look, I'm not here to judge Ty Lue. All I'm saying is that I think he's about to get fired during the playoffs. He probably, has a coach ever been fired during the playoffs? You, you guys got to look that up for me and fly, to, fly in that information because I think Coach Lou might be the first person to do that. But anyway, Larry Nance Jr.'s prop, the chemistry and the way that they play together, and if you look at the numbers, it's much better if he's the starter. Uh, Jeff, I don't know. Maybe he just had a bad game. You guys know like how Love is like really bad in the finals and he just never makes a shot? Maybe Jeff Green is just like, you know what? I'm not going to hit a shot. I'm 0-4. I'm a bum, and I'm going to come back and blast it out. But ultimately, I don't think that the Cavaliers are going to lose the series. I just think that it's really bad the way it started off. And even though they fought back from 23 down, I don't like the upside. You see what I'm saying? Because if they're struggling like this with the Pacers, it's going to be hell to pay come the Philadelphia 76ers if they do make it out of this round. Like this, this is not good in a lot of levels because it shows you the lack of uh, help. And I know people are like, yeah, but he's the greatest player in the world. Like it's a, it's basketball. Like if it was wrestling, there's no, you know what I'm saying? Wrestling one-on-one -on -one tennis, like golf. This is, this is a sport with five, it's five guys on the court. And if you're, if you're the best player that, that, that helps, but it's not going to be the, you know, the end all be all. This is something that's really, really wild. And the more that I think about it, the Cavaliers are very, very vulnerable. And I don't think I've seen them like this, you know, since LeBron James came back. Like, I, I, this is just really bad. And I know that people say, yeah, he's still got the wins without Kyrie. And, and looking at Boston, Boston still looks good with Kyrie on the bench also. But this series doesn't go this way with Kyrie there. Because it's like a one-two punch. Like, you see, the way the Rockets, you know, Chris Paul, and then you got the beard. Like, th things work. They... It's a two-man game. You need that other person. And I don't know. Kevin Love, bro, listen. All I'm going to say is Kevin Love needs to play better as his number two. Because he he, he was okay a little bit down the stretch with the comeback. But they, he has to play better, like, throughout the entirety of the game. Like, they're going to need people to really step up. Else, LeBron James, this is, this is going to be devastating. And he's not going to get any excuse. Because everyone in the media, no matter what it is, because he's who he he's who he is, he's going to get the most heat. There will be, listen, if they, it'll be hell to pay. Any other superstar could lose. If this man lose, LeBron James lost. Not the Cavs. LeBron James lost. Everybody else, the team lost. But this guy, it yo, and I know he put a lot of pressure on himself. He's the king and all that stuff like that. You need some help, bro. You need help. And when you look at the numbers and you see what the people that started, <clears throat> Jeff Green, he's an idiot. Like, listen. It's not going to work against this Indiana Pacers team. And like I said, I didn't watch a lot of the Pacers throughout the regular season. I was shocked in this entirety of this game. Because they're, they're, that, te that team looks solid. For them to beat the Pacers, they're going to have to come out and, and, and put in some work. And again, I don't know if I want to say, like, you know, this is a great, uh, you know, stepping stone and, 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 a, and a good test looking forward to playing the 76ers because I think the Sixers are going to be dangerous, especially when Joel Embiid gets back. And listen, I, I don't even want to... If LeBron James is able to make it to the finals right now, I'm at the point right now where I'm like, listen, I don't think it's ever, I don't think it was ever this bad for Michael Jordan once he became Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Once he got all that things out of his system and he stopped losing in the first round, Pippen came and they, you know, whatever, 90, 93, whatever they were doing, I've never seen it this bad, like with the competition so ridiculous in the East. This is not a cakewalk, you know? So we're going to have to wait and see what's going on. I would love to hear what you guys and girls think about the situation. Are the, are the Cavs in trouble, man? Are they in trouble? I, I really want to know because I really think that this might not end too well for them, but I'm really pulling for LeBron James and them boys, man.
Let me know what you guys and girls are thinking. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.